everyone welcome to gem kim now this is liquid state part 4 if you have not watched previous parts of liquid state please do watch it it will be helpful i will give the link in the description box now in this video we will do the measurement of surface tension of the liquid state and these are actually practicals which we can practically do in labs now let us see now first method is capillary rise method in this method we take a thoroughly ca cleaned capillary glass tube of uniform bore and is kept actually par partly immersed partially immersed in the liquid now liquid is experimental liquid in a vertical position then uh, the liquid rises in the tube and attains a particular height and the height h of the liquid from the surface of the bulk outside of the bottom is carefully measured by traveling microscope that is from this layer to this layer a measurement is made now this part h is being measured actually using traveling microscope this is a physical setup physical setup to measure the height next the radius of the tube is being measured using the help of mercury pellet now inserting a pellet of mercury and measuring its length and width now upper meniscus is concave right we can see the upper meniscus to be concave which is important to know and the contact angle is taken to be theta and we should consider the vertical component of surface tension to be gamma cos theta and this gamma cos theta basically is the vertical component of surface tension and the contact line of the meniscus with the wall of the tube is 2 pi r because this part makes a circle so this contact part is 2 pi r so we can write the upward pull which the liquid experiences to be as basically 2 pi r for the circumference and gamma cos theta whereas in the downward direction it experiences a weight and this weight is written as pi r square h plus nu rho g now basically this part this nu is actually the volume of liquid in curved meniscus that is volume of liquid in curved meniscus so this part basically is together only this part see the part of the liquid present here and here and the pi r square h rho g is from this part to this part is represented so basically what i am trying to say is this curved portion has some left here and here so this is being represented by nu and this position all left here is being represented by pi r square h rho g now these two are equal so we equate these two and we can write it as let's write it as 2 pi r gamma cos theta equal to pi r square h plus nu in bracket rho g and the second part is that rho is our density of liquid we have to understand and we consider here that the radius of curvature of the concave meniscus which have we have observed is almost equal to the radius of capillary tube so we can write nu as the volume as equal to pi r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube right and this is written as 1 by 3 pi r cube we substitute this value in this equation and we can get the equation as 2 pi r gamma cos theta equal to pi r square h plus 1 by 3 pi r cube rho g so gamma can ultimately be written as r rho g h plus 1 by 3 r 
pi 2 cos theta and if when theta is equal to 0 then cos theta equals to 1 so our ultimate expression comes to be as gamma equal to r rho g h plus 1 by 3 r by 2 and this has a unit of dynes per centimeter. So, when we have the knowledge of H and R and of the density of the liquid, we are able to find the surface tension from this equation which we have already obtained, right. Now, we will go up to our next method which is relatively easy and we will discuss it in short way. So, let us see. This is drop weight method in this when a drop of liquid falls from here that is dropped is at a point of being detached just to detach then from the circular end of a vertical capillary tube the upward and the downward forces are balanced by one another that is the force acting here and here is being balanced and the upward force is actually 2 pi r gamma okay and the downward force consists of weight of the liquid and excess pressure of liquid inside the drop right so which is also a curved surface so we can write it as equal to mg which is the weight plus excess drop pressure right we have already derived it in previous video how to come to the expression so it is pi square gamma by r now the drop at the moment of detachment actually considered cylindrical at the mouth so the excess pressure inside the drop is gamma by r so the total downward force is mg plus pi r square gamma by r so at equilibrium these two are equal so we can write gamma equals to mg pi r from solving this equation so this is how it can be measured now determination of weight of liquid is easy and the radius of capillary mouth would give the desired surface tension so this is the method how we can derive now a special instrument used for this measurement is known as stalagmometer stalagmometer is used for measurement in this method now, our last method is actually ring detachment method this is easy method and most used commonly previous methods used but drop width method is actually less exact and less common so ring detachment method in this method actually we take a liquid present in a beaker okay and uh, our platinum ring Basically, platinum ring is mostly used. Platinum ring is taken and this is the attacher and placed here. Okay. In this method, there is a quick determination of surface tension with appreciable accuracy. It is based on the measurement of force, that is P, required to detach a horizontal platinum ring from the surface of the experimental liquid so this ring is just inserted into the liquid and a rotator is present to just detach the ring so this is pulled upwards so as it is pulled upward the time when it completely detaches from the ring surface that is from the liquid surface when it completely detaches that point of measurement is taken the position when it completely detaches right so what is the formula to derive it now let us see basically force is actually 2 pi r gamma right so the gamma is being measured from here f by 2 pi r we know the radius of the platinum ring and we know the force so we can derive the gamma this is a precise method and this requires a instrument for measurement and the instrument is known as 
due now torsion balance this is the instrument used to measure surface tension using ring detachment method so this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment and the next video will come on viscosity